Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing the latest and greatest addition to Stalin's Garage, the IS-5. Also shout out to Economics Mate and The Lone Tanker, which are channels that have been supporting me recently. And a huge shout out to v the Vsop guys and Big Papa Bender, which were the first clan on NA to ever unlock clan supply level 10. So let's jump straight into equipment. On the IS-5, I would run Gun Rammer, Protected Modules, Improved Optics, and I would also run Enhanced Gun Lane Drive along with Enhanced Armor, Improved Control, Vertical Stabilizer, Enhanced Tracks, and last but not least, Consumable Delivery System. As far as ammo goes, I would run 15 APCR, 10 Heat, and 5 HE. And for provisions, I would carry extra combat rations, protective kit, and improved fuel. And as far as consumables go, adrenaline, multi-purpose restoration pack, and repair kit should do the job. So what are you going to need to do to get the IS-5? Well first of all, your clan is going to have to unlock clan supply level 10, which is going to cost 30 million XP. And you're also going to have to unlock personal access level 10, which is going to take 1.2 million XP. One thing you're going to notice with the IS-5 is that it looks pretty similar to the IS-6. And that's true because the IS-6 and IS-5 have identical guns. However, the IS-5 has an extra 20mm of armor on the front and side. And a crazy turret that has 221mm of armor versus the IS-6 that only has 150mm of turret armor. The IS-5 also has much more horsepower than the IS-6, which means that it can hit 42 kilometers at its top speed, where the IS-6 can only hit a top speed of 35 kilometers an hour. So is the IS-5 worth the grind? Well, in this next video, I'm gonna let you make that decision by yourself. Personally, I would say it's definitely worth the grind. So for this first game on Falls Creek, I'm just telling my team to go left and I'm looking at the enemy team, I see that they have two tank destroyers and a KV-4 which means they'll most likely be at C. And if we can get A first, we can get the cap advantage, which is what you want to do in these type of games. Especially on Supremacy, it's all booking the it's all booking the initial caps. If you don't get the initial caps, you're just gonna struggle later on in the game. So right here, see they have an STA one here, but he's all by himself, which makes me think that they're all gonna be at at C. So they have a couple meds here. I think it's safe for me to just play aggressively here. Bounce a shot on the VK 301D. And right here, I'm just pushing aggressively because I know their heavies haven't come here. Or I'm trying to kill their meds before their heavies come here. So I'm pu pumping a shot into the STA1, dropping down. And as you can see, the turret armor on this thing is going to be godly against other tier 7s because once you get them to a face hiding position they're just going to be helpless unless of course they hit your commander's hatch and that's the only real weakness of the IS-5 turret wise so right here I pull up I'm loading heat for the KV-4 because there's no real chance I'm going to hit the KV-4 on the front with AP Star and pen reliably Right here, I'm debating going around the side, but then I remember that heat doesn't do very well against tracks, so I set this sucker on fire, and I'm just leaving him alone. Let my team kill him while we move on to kill other guys and help out this AMX M4. It looks like he might be getting rushed anytime soon. Helson gets some nasty shots into me. Right here, I'm just activating adrenaline. I know that the spike that the spick might pull back, which he's doing right now. Luckily I got a shot reloaded. Helson comes around, nails my turret a couple times, does no damage. 
right here, just pushing up. Kelsey is trying to run, but it's hopeless for him right now. So right here, just cleaning up. As you can see, the IS-5, it actually accelerates pretty well up these hills. So right here, pop a shot to the Helsing. AT-15, there's only one left here. And kaboom. So let's see what we did for this game. So I ended up pulling 3,168 damage, 9 out of 10 shots penned, and we made 60k. So if you guys like this video, feel free to drop a like and hit that subscribe button.